Hey guys, Agani here. This is my end game review. I want to keep this um, very short. Try not to make this a rant. But been a hundred for I think three four days now. I did the hundred race. I was a, um, I'm on hardcore difficulty. I think it was like twenty sixth on the hardcore leaderboards on official leaderboards. Super fun. Um, it was cool to do a, a gaming marathon at 37 years old. Um, I probably won't do another one till Diablo 5, but that was super cool experience. And uh, thank you, Blizzard, for running that contest. As far as the, um, the enjoyment of the end game, I'm just not finding enjoyment in the end game. Uh, switching builds, like doing it's just, everything is kind of like a hassle. Uh, if I wanted to switch penetration shot, I can't just throw, have an armory where I can have all these different gear and builds and profiles and switch seamlessly between them. I don't understand why we have to, you know, it, it's so, I'd rather pay a certain amount of gold to unlock a profile slot to have that set in. And boom, I paid it. Let me set the profile so I can switch back and forth because your, the stash tab is so sloppy and careless in terms of design that it's just uh it's it's not worth it like i don't want to spend the time doing it it's not fun um so yeah so that was disappointing uh, end game activities I, I mean it's the same stuff that you've been doing all the way leveling up to 100 right i thought the meat and potatoes of the game was going to be in the sigils um so you have these tier of the sigils here it goes all the way up to 100 and i thought well, I was really excited about this. Like, I can't beyond tell you I was excited, how excited I was to think that th how what dungeon you completed unlocked your gear range, like messed with the range of item power. And the higher dungeon you complete, the higher gear you get. So that awesome pr progression from tier world tier three to, to world tier four, how awesome was that? Finding all new gear, getting upgrades, stronger. That's what Diablo is all about, right? So when you do tier 50, two, 50 in this in this next tier here, like wouldn't that be you think that would be like kind of an act kind of like a soft act 5 where you're getting the item power increases? It's no, it's not. Same with tier 60s, it's not. Um I don't know if it's 70 just like in Diablo 3 where you get primals and all of a sudden, so I'm willing to f test and find out. I hope I bite my tongue. And they actually put this in the game and all you have to do is this tier 72 and you unlock it or tier 71 and you unlock higher gear. But it doesn't look like that's the case. And it's just kind of like, okay, so I can't seamlessly do the build switches. I know I can go penetration shot and snipe off screen. Um, I try to make an alt rogue to get to 100 and have that just make that geared. But... It, Power leveling is even unfriendly in this game. So it takes hours and hours and hours to power level a character um, uh, up to 100, which, you know, it makes sense when you're doing the race. Um, but, uh, man, it's just, um, yeah, it's just a lot of, uh, at this point, I'm just kind of like, I think I'm done. I, I played Diablo. I went to the extent of my character. I can maybe find... You know, the, the Harley Quinn uh, crest, uh, you know, those uniques that everyone's hunting, the super rare. And then that will give me the push to be able to keep progressing. Do I want to fish for it? I don't know. So that's basically uh, maybe it might be due to uh, create an all and just play kind of like casual and just enjoy the game in that aspect. But. I was just hoping that there was going to be a nice steady progression all the way through um, and a lot of emphasis on creating these tiers of this dungeon here. So, I mean, how many hours can you use? You know, I, I've already put, put in over 100 hours, most likely. So, I mean, in terms of money's worth, absolutely got it. Um, no grape on that. Um, but, yeah, I was hoping uh, I was hoping that was going to be a nice uh, systems in to steady progress my character. All the way to tier 100 and then finish that character out and then also be seamlessly being able to um, switch the builds and try different builds and things like that with ease and have fun with that. So um, that's pretty much it. That's my end game review. Uh, end game, I'm going to give it a, 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 a 3 out of 10 for end game. Um, so 3 out of 10 end game design overall uh, game systems. Uh, that's basically it. All right, guys.
Have a good one.